Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Dillian, the body snatcher White, is facing Derek Chisora in a rematch of their infamous fight in 2016, which ended in a split decision. You know, you hear a lot of guys talk about that first fight. And to me, I thought it was a close and interesting fight. But I think Dillian White clearly won that fight if I'm being 100% unbiased. Now, the rematch should be spectacular. Um, this is a Dillian White ascending higher in his career getting a signature win against a joseph parker or Derek chisora pretty much in his last fight was completely outboxed by carlos to come but then stopped him in the eighth round with a good shot so you know i i honestly think that Derek chisora has seen better days you know i just don't think that Derek chisora at this point in his career is, is going to be any match for Dillian White. I think Dillian White is massively underrated. I think a lot of people overlook Dillian White because he's in the UK, but if we're being unbiased about Dillian White, I think he's one of the top five heavyweights in the world, and I think beating a Joseph Parker, you know, these type of a level of opponents helps his resume, and hopefully he'll get those big shots. Now, Dillian White has 24 wins, one loss, 17 knockouts. His long loss came against an Anthony Joshua in 2015. He was stopped in the seventh round, but he also hurt Anthony Joshua in that fight. Now, back to the Derek Chisora fight. I think that Dillian White beats Derek Chisora and possibly stops him mid to late in that fight. I just don't think that Derek Chisora is going to have enough in the tank for Dillian White. I think Dillian White has flourished. Dillian White has shown tremendous ability in his last few fights and also Dillian White has the the obvious advantages Dillian White is 30 years old he's six foot four with a 78 inch reach and now on the other hand if you look at Derek Jasora he's a little bit older and he's 34 years old six foot one and a half with a 74 inch reach so you see that Dillian White has all the intangibles Dillian White has so many other physical advantages over Derek Jasora not to mention the fact that Derek Chisora has, has basically, since he lost to Dillian White, he's lost again um, to another unknown opponent. And so, and, and, you know, he was pretty much getting outboxed by Carlos Takam. This is a huge fight in the UK. A lot of people are wanting to see this fight, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be the battle that people say it is. I think that Dillian White is going to thoroughly dominate this fight after about the third or fourth round. I think Dillian White will turn it up and turn it on and then eventually get the stoppage mid to late in the fight against Derek Chisora. If he doesn't get the stoppage, it'll be a straight unanimous decision, but I really think that he should stop um, you know, Derek Chisora at some point in this fight. But once again, unbiased as always, the IBFP.